you the result uh, of the work of our team for uh, 30 hours. Uh, this is the service uh, called Pitman, and the motto is get your kids to school stressless. Um, okay, and uh, yeah. and somehow we want to do this, and uh, uh, to create this idea, we use uh, data of Uber movement uh, because uh, Uber movement uh, have just historical data, not real time data. We can't make service that uh, take something for this. Uh, that's why we create the data of Uber uh, just to create the idea, to find the problem and make the solution. And uh, here is the place where I'm living, and here uh, there is the data that shows uh, that uh, minus 80% from the free fall traffic uh, on the uh, morning peak hours during school days. It's the days when children going to schools. And uh, we compare to the next data. Um, and this data is from 10 to 10 September uh, till 15 of October of uh, 2018. Because uh, uh, data is uh, with a lack of two months. And uh, the average speed uh, in the autumn holidays between uh, 3rd October and 4th of November is uh, minus 51% of free flow. Uh, that means that uh, there is a minus 30% uh, of decrease of the traffic, uh, according to the, your statistics. And uh, uh, that's time when there is no need to commute children to the school. And here is our solution. Uh, oops. Uh, and uh, next, it's the first part. And the second part, we go to our mentor from the Kiev Smart City and uh, taking the data and creating the platform where uh, the pupils uh, live and in which school they go into. Uh, this data is non-personal, uh, but we uh, have this mapping between the children and the school. And here, uh, this traffic problem here, from previous slides, and this is the children that are living here and going to one school, and this school is outside this area. Uh, and they need to use transportation to commute from the home to the school. Um, and uh, also we gather the data from the Kyiv Smart City. Now in the Kyiv registered is more the, than 18,000 pupils in Kyiv, and more than like around the half is commuting to the school uh, via some transport. It could be a public or private transport. And also there is more than 400 school in Kyiv now. Um, and okay, today we have uh, public transport. What, what is the solution for commuting uh, people? Uh, private transport and uh, just by walking grandma uh, going with the children to the school. Um, and we propose uh, another solution, the centralized solution for the city to solve this problem. Uh, it's a service which has mobile application for the parents uh, to, uh, to commute uh, children to the school uh, without any routine, uh, routine and uh, shadow the rights. And uh, there is three things to do uh, for the parents. First, to add your children. Uh, one time to shadow the time to when kids go to school and just track uh, your children to the school. Uh, it's really easy and uh, every uh, parent can do this. And now I want to uh, oh, 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 this. I want to make a live demo uh, for our service, which we made. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I should go out. Okay. No, it's not connecting. Okay, 
here we go. And our application, oh, it's also the lag. It's called Bitmap. And so we just signed in via Facebook. And first of all, uh, you need to add your kit. But uh, not just add your kit. We adding a kit with a, a birth certificate ID, uh, which we have from the government. And it's just one way to verify your child. After that, you get automatically the data. It's the name, surname, and the number of school and the location where they go into. Uh, all this data is already exist in the uh, government infrastructure. After that, you just uh, schedule uh, the right for each uh, children. Uh, you can uh, use uh, the weekdays and the time when uh, he or she leaves and returns. Uh, uh, you choosing the departure address, and here uh, you see your uh, child, the time when uh, she wants to leave home, uh, going to school, the distance, the estimated time for the ride, uh, and every day or uh, in the weekend, in the evening before, uh, I, as a parent, can just confirm right, uh, and I will see uh, the drive. Oops, I will see the driver and see the time when uh, he arrives. After that, there is a life tracking system, and you just see a whole way from the home to school. And when the ride is finished, you, you will have the notification and also can book the confir uh, confirm the return ride. Uh, here we confirm the return ride, and here we, s we have simple menu with kids, past trips, payment, and settings. Yeah, it's our live demo, and how to go from it. And what this uh, system, what is the like, base of the system is safety, it's transparency, and reliability. Uh, safety, uh, all drivers uh, will be tested and uh, uh, in each vehicle there is a camera on board with, which can have a live streaming. Uh, transparency, you track the ride and you will see the rider before the departure. And reliability, uh, your children always on time in school and uh, uh, and also it's fun for children to communicate uh, between the uh, classes starts. Okay, and uh, the benefits for city is less traffic jams, is better transport utilization, is children safety and smart services for Kiev because it will be integrated in a whole Kiev system uh, and it's small tiny part of the whole public transport system. And for the parents of course, it's uh, safety reasons. It provides economic and time benefits because it's cheaper to ride via your vehicle. And uh, you have a GPS trackers and your children always of time, uh, on time. Uh, this could be made by uh, two different ways. The first one is... Uh, it, yeah, uh, it's, it's okay. The first way is uh, government could make uh, this system by their own, but it's not uh, uh, good uh, for the city to invest a lot of money. And the second way is to make the private-public partnership with Uber, for example, to make uh, the service for the city. And yeah, that's all. Thank you. Any questions?